You asked for it, here it is. Welcome to Mixtape Videos. Today we're ranking our top 10 players in NBA history. It seems like everyone's top 10 list is different, and honestly, opinion plays a large part. We're going to share our list, but make sure you watch till the end of this video to see how you can be a part of a viewer ranked list of the greatest players of all time. But for now, let's get on to our list. Number 10, Kobe Bryant. To some, Kobe is one of the most overrated players of all time, but when you look at his stats and what he's accomplished, the Black Mamba has earned his place in history. With five championships, two finals MVPs, and a regular season MVP under his belt, Kobe has the hardware. He's also third all-time in total points, number 10 all-time in points per game in the playoffs, and number 8 all-time in total win shares for the playoffs. Some say Kobe only won his rings by playing with other great players, like that's never happened ever in the history of the NBA. But did you know that he's the only player in NBA history to score at least 600 points in the postseason for three consecutive years and is the only player in NBA history with more than 30,000 points and 6,000 assists? Clearly, he's done his work. And his reputation for being a low percentage volume shooter doesn't really hold up when you consider his career shooting percentage of 45% in the regular season and 44.8% in the playoffs. Kobe also holds numerous franchise records, and considering the fact that he plays for the Lakers, one of the most storied franchises in the NBA, that's saying something. Number 9, Tim Duncan. We've done several power forward profiles on this channel, so you probably already guessed that we consider Tim Duncan to be the greatest of all time at that position. Dirk and Karl Malone are close at second and third, but they just can't top Duncan's five rings, three finals MVPs, and two regular season MVPs. Yes, Duncan has had the honor of playing with other Hall of Fame players, but he's silently carried the team for most of his career. He's number 17 all-time in scoring, number 6 all-time in win shares for the regular season, and second only to Jordan in win shares for the playoffs. He also has the 7th all-time highest PER for the playoffs. Number 8, Magic Johnson. There's some debate over who is the greatest point guard of all time. Generally, most would consider it to be between John Stockton and Magic Johnson. Both of them defined the point guard position in their own special way, but Magic became a legend with his three finals MVPs and three regular season MVPs. Heck, the guy won finals MVP as a rookie! He had the opportunity to play with some of the all-time greats, but rather than riding their coattails to history, he made his own by being the magician that made the Showtime Lakers work. And he's number 5 all-time in win shares for the playoffs. He truly earned his spot in history. Number 7, Shaquille O'Neal. Everyone knows the paint belongs to Shaq. He dominated games. But sometimes we forget just how dominant he was. He has the third all-time highest PER for the regular season and the fourth all-time highest PER for the playoffs. He's also 10th all-time in win shares for the regular season and 7th all-time for the playoffs. And don't forget that he's 6th all-time in total points. He's top 10 in total blocks and top 15 in total rebounds. To be in the top 10 or 20 in so many categories is very rare. Now, we'll admit that his road through the playoffs was sometimes, um, assisted, we'll say, but he can't be blamed for that. The fact is that Shaq dominated the paint and there wasn't really anyone who could stop him. Number 6, Larry Bird. Maybe white men can't jump, but Larry Bird proved that they could do pretty much everything else. Bird really did do it all, his career numbers show that. He won three championships, two finals MVPs, three regular season MVPs, had a 50-40-90 season twice, which is just crazy, and his number 11 all-time in win shares for the playoffs. Just about the only thing he didn't do was crack the top 10 scoring list, but he did only play 13 seasons, so that's probably why. Bird's game was complete. We'll put it this way, 
Shaq averaged 10.9 rebounds for his career, Bird averaged 10, plus 6.3 assists. There's any number of things you could say about Bird. He was the greatest scorer, greatest shooter, greatest passing forward, great defender. Basically, he's just one of the greatest of all time. Number 5. Wilt Chamberlain Man, where do we even start? He scored 100 points in one game. Nuff said, let's move on. But no, seriously, Wilt was a beast. Just leaving championships and MVPs out of it, he's number 5 all-time in scoring, number 2 all-time in win shares for the regular season, and number 6 all-time in win shares for the playoffs. He's number 2 all-time in points per game for the regular season, and number 1 all-time in rebounds. That's unbelievable. Number 4, Bill Russell. Okay, if you were impressed by Wilt, Bill Russell's accolades will blow your socks off. He won 11 championships. By the way, for anyone who says Russell only looks good because most players back then weren't very athletic, consider this. Bill Russell was only 6'9 and 220 pounds, and he was going against Wilt Chamberlain, the guy who scored 100 points, and beat him. He also beat Oscar Robertson, the guy who averaged a triple-double as a rookie. Bill Russell holds the record for most rebounds in the finals with 40, which he did twice. He's the all-time playoff leader in total rebounds and rebounds per game, and holds the highest rebounding average for a finals series with 29.5. Now, with 11 championships, a lot of people put Bill Russell higher than number 4 all-time, sometimes as high as number 1. However, we've kept him a few spots down because his game was mostly about defense and rebounding. Offense wasn't really his strong suit. Maybe he didn't have an all-around game, but he's truly the greatest winner ever. Number 3. Hakeem Olajuwon Okay, so this might be surprising to some people, but hear us out. Yes, he got his two rings and finals MVPs, and his number 10 all-time in points scored, but consider his era. He won his championships when Jordan was out of the game, so you could say that he was the second best player behind Jordan, which is saying something in itself. But also, without Jordan, he probably would have won even more than two championships. Also, during the 95 finals versus an up-and-coming Orlando squad, Olajuwon embarrassed Shaquille O'Neal by putting up 32.8 points, 11.5 rebounds per game, 5.5 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks, which led to another finals MVP. And let's not forget the dream shake. Hakeem is number one all-time in blocks, won Defensive Player of the Year twice, and is the only player in NBA history to win regular season MVP, finals MVP, and defensive player of the year in the same season. Number 2. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar If you watched our Kareem vs. Wilt comparison and thought we were on the fence about it, now you know that we're not. Stats aside, Kareem tops so many categories, it's unreal. Here's his resume. Six championships, two finals MVPs, six regular season MVPs, a record. Number one all-time in scoring, number one all-time in win shares for the regular season, number two in win shares for the playoffs, number one in offensive win shares, and number three in defensive win shares. And let's not forget that Kareem unleashed the most devastating shot the NBA has ever seen, the skyhook. But what puts Kareem at number 2 on our list is the fact that he did it for 20 seasons. Some guys are good for a decade and then they taper off. But Kareem averaged double digit points for 20 years. So yes, his extra games and seasons meant he could score more points and add to his legend. But he wasn't just playing during those years. He really could play at a high level for 20 years. And that's simply unheard of. Number 1. Michael Jordan Where do we even start with this one? Yes, it's a predictable pick, so let's just have some fun admiring Jordan's achievements. Jordan created the blueprint for greatness and all shooting guards. Did you know that the Jordan Bulls never lost three consecutive games from 1990 until after he retired? 
He currently holds the record for most points in a single playoff game with 63 and has eight 50 plus point playoff performances, four more than anyone else. Let's see what else his Aaroness did. Six championships, six finals MVPs, five regular season MVPs, 10 scoring titles, number one all time in points per game for the playoffs, number one all time in points per game for the regular season, number one in PER for the regular season and the playoffs, number one in win shares for the playoffs, number four in win shares for the regular season, and number four all time scoring. Be it his serious clinching buzzer beater over Craig Elo, his 63 point dismantling of the Celtics, the flu game, the up and under, the 96 comeback championship, or MJ's farewell cross up of Byron Russell, there has been no player that has provided us more legendary performances than Michael Jordan. So there you go, the top 10 greatest players in NBA history, at least according to us. Now here's your chance to be a part of a viewer ranked list. Head over to our website. There's